What are some advice that you would give to students that are in high school and they want to go into your program? Lin <sighs> Altru. What's up everyone, it's William here. So today we're here for everything you need to know about Waterloo Engineering Part 2. So today we're pretty much just going to be asking engineering students that we didn't get to ask in Part 1. That way you can know what to prepare for the program you want to go into. Let's go. Uh, my name is Arka. I am 2A Mech. Uh, my name is Sehej, and uh, I just finished 2 way of Nanotechnology Engineering. Priya, same as um, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joycelyn, and I'm in fourth year Architectural Engineering. And I'm Jurassic Patel. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's keep going. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it's pretty good. It's challenging. 1B was easy, so I got to skip a lot. Good projects, good professors. Um, mostly co-op. Yeah, schooling is pretty much the same everywhere. Uh -huh. But yeah, also a nice building. Um, I guess I really like the community. I have a pretty large, tight-knit group of friends. So I think compared to a lot of other engineering program systems is very um, close. Yeah. The people. Females. <laughs> it's a pretty good gender balance, I would say. We're like really diverse and everyone's really nice to each other. Um, I guess the best thing is that things is the, are the labs. I really love the labs. And uh, it's, it's amazing to have like hands-on building experiences. Mm -hmm. So that's it, I guess. Okay. A very tight cohort. It's like very little number of people and we're all very close. I would mm -hmm. say most of, most people are pretty close. Yeah. So you, like. There's always someone that can help you out. So. Like that, it's like a good mix of like design work that's like more artistic, and then you also have like, the engineering mix. Um, so like you get to use your creativity a lot more than like, other programs. Uh, how much time do you spend to study every day? That really depends because some days I some days I have like no time to study. Uh -huh. I don't know on average like three hours maybe. Three hours? Yeah. Why don't we? What, what about close to like midterm season? Uh, same. Same. Yeah. All right. This term, I'm studying a bit more than my other terms, so like usually around like four to five hours a day. I'm more of a sprint guy, man. When the exams come, I'm studying for like fourteen hours straight up. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just chilling. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it depends where you are in the term. I'd say in the beginning of the term, something like maybe two, okay. three hours. Near midterm season, it's like five hours maybe. Near the end. It's like six, seven, 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 seven hours. Okay, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. Okay. I don't really know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like five. Like five. It kind of depends on like our studio projects. So, um, like the days that we have like bigger deliverables due, I'll be working a lot more on like CAD and stuff. Um, and then I kind of concentrate my study time closer to like tests and stuff. So. I do like the co-op. Oh, co-op's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it's a good break from the study term. Yeah. You get to earn a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, it's part of the, about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just get a lot of time off to, you know, reflect on things and all that. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Co-op program's good. A lot of us really just do whatever the hell we want. Not all of us do healthcare. Like, a lot of us are in software. Some of us do, uh, like, mechanical and actually work with their hands. Some people do design. Like, you can try and do whatever you want. The co-op program is for you to take it and do what you want with it and get what you want out of it. I really like co-op. Um, I think it helped me figure out what parts of like the industry that I really liked and then um, just sort of figure out what my work style is and the type of work that I want to do after I graduate. Co-op's good. I think for engineering because it's like every four months, it's a good change of pace. Also, it'll help you once you graduate. Mm -hmm. so. I would say that like more people in DME do like more research than any of the other engineers yeah. though. Mm -hmm. And like what Waterloo Works doesn't really have for research DME is like there's like less research openings so then you would have to find it extremely. Mm -hmm. That's why everyone ends up doing software. 
Yeah. Right. Like basically everyone ends up with software because there's, or you find it externally because it's so hard. Do you have any tips that you can give to students that are in high school right now and they want to go into a program? Um, I guess just like keep working hard and like um, if you're interested in like buildings, um, definitely like keep exploring that and like going to even just like see buildings and learning about architecture to see where like where your interests lie. Yeah. Um, I guess just focus on your studies obviously, but also take the, some time to uh, find some extracurriculars that you're really passionate about because mm -hmm. that really um, carries over onto university. So yeah. it's also good for your university application. Mm -hmm. Linalch. Yeah, learn Linalch. That's all. That's all. That's all. Oh. Everything else is pretty easy. Just pick up on it. Like, uh -huh. yeah. Balance. I think BME is probably best the best work life balance because we all do like sports. We do like extracurricular. Yeah, we, we do it together. We have parties. Yeah, yeah. 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 Party. everyone parties together in the cohort. Really? Okay. Like, we try really hard to like work really hard and then like also like have fun. Dang. Oh, do things outside of school. Do like, a lot make of sure your extracurriculars are good yeah. too. Grades obviously have to be very good very, also. Yeah. So like you need to do a lot of stuff. You should get a part-time job also. And you should figure out your balance then, like in high school, like figure out how to study, how to study. And organize your time so you can actually do things. Yeah. Like know what you want from applying it, like applying to BME. Yeah. Like know why you want to apply to BME and like you can kind of like figure out like what part of BME you want after getting it. Make sure you want to do biomed because it's a very niche program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So make sure you want to work in medicine after you're done. Not medicine. Otherwise, otherwise like, health like or like health health tech. Otherwise, like there's other engineers you can apply to that are probably easier to get into. Okay. If you want to get into something else, there other engineers are more um, focused. Yeah. Or like biomedical is very like open ended. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, we're more you, learn, you learn a lot of like everything, you know. But it's we don't more go deep into anything. Yeah. 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 I guess really focus on the basics that you do in high school because they do come in handy and uh, I've had those moments in life where I was like, yo, you should study probably more in high school mm -hmm. and life would be easier right now. So I guess just fo really focus on the basics mm -hmm. and ask seniors to have an idea of what you want to do when you go to the movie because there's so many things, you can join a lot of clubs, you can do so many things mm -hmm. and uh, having a sort of an idea of what you want to do is great. Well that's it for today's video, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!